guys welcome back to my channel so i know i haven't been posting very often i do have a good excuse for that um if you guys have been like watching like most of my vlogs i've been telling you guys that i have i've been having really bad stomach issues and i've been telling you guys that i've been in and out of the hospital so yesterday i was in the hospital for like seven hours um because of my stomach issue and then I was there even longer because I have really bad anxiety so my heart rate is like obviously really really high and they were worried but I'm, I was telling them like it's just my anxiety it's just my anxiety like it's normal like I this always happens to me and like they're like no we're gonna keep you longer because of your stomach issue and then your heart rate so it was just like a lot I, um I've been in and out of the hospital hopefully I don't have to go anymore I'm just over it. Uh, it's like taking over my life, like the stomach issue. It like keeps coming back and it's like really bad. But I, they gave me medication so next time it does start hurting or whatever, I could take it. So at least I have some medicine for that now and I don't have to um, suffer through the pain. Because that's what I've been doing is just like suffering through the pain. So, but anyways, I just wanted to clear up that real quick about why I've been kind of distant, absent on YouTube. But um, I wanted to do a Q&A for you guys just because the last time I did a Q&A, it was like sometime last year, I'm going to say. So I got these questions like a while back. Um, I haven't been able to do the Q&A because like I said, I just haven't been feeling good. But um, um, I have the questions here. They're like so far back in my camera room trying to find them. The first question is, where do you see yourself five years from now, career-wise, and just in general? Miss you. And that's from my friend Erica. Five years from now, um, in general, I'm going to say um, me and Nick buy a bigger house. Hopefully have this one sold and then buy a bigger house in a better city when there's like more stuff to do because our city's boring. Um, and then... In general, hopefully I have a kid by then. And then what else? Career-wise, I'm gonna say I hope that YouTube is like our main income. Right now it's just like, YouTube is just like extra money. It's obviously not our main income. Nick makes more money than YouTube pays me. But um, I hope that by then that could be like our main income. And then, I don't know, I'll just be super happy. Next question is, this may be a little personal, but how is it going with the fertility issue? So, I've been keeping my fertility issues um, a secret for a little bit, just because it is pretty draining. And I don't really care if you guys ask personal questions like this, because it just makes me like open and like talk to you guys about it. So, if you guys like have personal questions, you guys can just always ask. But, um... Fertility issue, so this story is kind of long, but I'm going to try to make it fast. So as the last thing you guys know was that I was taking medication and I said I was in the last steps of fertility. So what happened was they gave me the pills. As you guys know, I went back to Cali, so and Nick went back with me. So I took the pills, um, and then after that, you know, you guys have to, you know, do the deed. We did that for like a week and then um, then he left to on a deployment. I was hoping to get pregnant um, so by the time he comes back from the deployment it could be like a surprise. But um, the pills didn't work. Um, I remember the doctor told me if those pills didn't work to go back and he'll hire the dosage. Um, me and Nick after that point kind of I guess gave up for a sense and just... Um, it was like, it's draining. I'm, like, I've been going through this for years now and it's draining. So, me and Nick were at the point where we we're just like, whatever, like, I'm just gonna. It was mostly me. I was like, I'm not gonna go back. I'll just go back later on when I feel like things are right or whatever. I haven't gone to the doctor since then just so I can focus on myself and not just be stressing about me not being able to get pregnant. So, um, yeah, we just haven't really done anything about it um now i'm gonna start going to a different doctor because our insurance changed because military insurance is confusing but anyways my military insurance changed i didn't have to pay a lot but i still had to pay a little bit 
So, anyways, so now my mil military insurance changed. So basically, now I don't have to pay anything to go to the doctor. So um, now my doctor will be on base. So um, I'm gonna do that and then start like the whole process. And they're gonna. St I'm pretty sure they're gonna start off. I'm pretty sure they're gonna start off at where the other doctor ended at. So I don't have to go through all like the little surgery and procedures that I had to do because I had to do a couple things. I don't obviously don't want to do all that again because some things are painful and I don't want to do all that again. I don't know if I'm going to keep you guys updated when I do go to the new fertility doctor just because like I said it is draining or whatever but if I do feel like up for it then I will. I'm just not too sure yet but yeah that was like my little secret about like our fertility issue. Um, someone said how old are you? I am 20. I'm going to be 21 in a week. I know you guys might not believe me, but I swear I just don't like drinking. Like, I never have. Um, I have drank before, but I've never gotten drunk. Um, I have, like, a big, big phobia of throw up, and I know that comes with drinking. If you drink too much, you're going to throw up. And I think that's, like, the main reason why I don't like drinking. Or If, if that, that's the main reason why I, I'm just scared to drink. Um, that's weird, I know, but, like, my phobia of throwing up is high and I know when I'm pregnant that's just gonna be like annoying but um yeah that's just I just don't like drinking so my 21st birthday it's, I'll probably just take one shot but that's about it I don't want to get drunk all right the next question is did you play any sports elementary school I did play soccer and then middle school through high school I was in cheer Next question is, how long have you and Nick been together? Me and Nick have been together for four years. Um, it's going to be five years this year, which is a long time. That's my longest relationship, my longest anything. Um, and his longest too. What the hell? I was like, I better be your longest. Like when I first met him, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to be your longest relationship. He's like, you are. And I'm like, yeah. So I passed. Um... How is it like being married and living on your own so young? Um, being the part about being married part, I feel like being married young is hard. I'm not gonna lie, it um, it's pretty hard. Like you fight a lot because you don't like when this person does this, and like they're all up in your space. Like I get annoyed of Nick so fast. Sometimes Nick has like, let's say like four days off. Oh my gosh, I can't stand him. I can't stand someone being next to me 24 seven just cause I'm used to being like alone. I'm, I just get annoyed. And that's just how it is like in relationships or like friendships when you're with someone like way too long, you're like, just like annoyed. You're like, dude, shut up. Like your breathing even annoys me. I get like that too. I'm not gonna say my marriage is perfect because it's not. Um, I'm just being real. Like that's just how I am. I'm just really like, I get annoyed fast. So he like doesn't, he likes to annoy me. He doesn't get annoyed if we're together 24 seven, nothing. It's just mostly me, I guess. But being married young, I don't think it's bad. I just think that you have to really make sure that's the person you wanna be with for the rest of your life. Why don't you vlog every day? So um, I don't vlog every day just because I don't think my life is that interesting. I know a lot of you guys are like, um, think my life is interesting but personally i don't i'm still at the point where i just don't feel like my content is good um just because i feel like i don't really do anything to my vlogs and i don't know i just don't think i'm um, interesting but yeah that's why i don't vlog every day um the next question is is nick re-enlisting nick is not gonna re-enlist um for a lot of reasons if he ever did re want to re-enlist, that's fine. Um, it would be hard for me just because I hate when he leaves. But if that's what he wants to do, then that's what he wants to do. So what he's going to do is he's going to get out and find a normal job. And then um, a backup plan will be like re-enlisting in the end because he could still do that. The next question is, what's your all-time favorite movie? My all-time favorite movie is Mean Girls. I can watch that all day, every day. I've watched that movie so many times and it just doesn't ever get boring to me. Um, I don't know why, I just love it. Have you had any drama with any military wives? So currently right now, I guess there's drama. I mean, not with me, with the other person. Um, 
one of the girls I used to be friends with, we're not friends anymore, but it is what it is. Losing friendships does suck, but I mean, it's life and you go through it. I've lost a lot of friendships. And honestly, I'm gonna be honest, most of them aren't my fault. Like this, this, um, this drama, I don't think it's my fault. And I'm not just saying that just to say that, like it literally isn't. So, um, yeah, I feel like, and then drama, drama, I feel like that's the only drama that's been like really like drama, drama. Um, other than that, I don't feel like I cause any drama. I don't really talk to anybody. I only talk to like five, like five people. And that's about it. I don't like go and like talk to every wife. Just cause I don't trust people. So I don't, you know, I ain't gonna do that. Um, how many kids do you want? I want three kids. Um, max, and then a minimum two. I don't want one just because I don't, I wouldn't want to be an only child. So I was kind of raised like an only child, I guess, because I live with my mom and then my brother lives with my dad. So, and it was like pretty lonely. Like I didn't really have anybody to talk to or whatever. So I just don't want that. Like sometimes, like, like sometimes I'd be so bored. I'm like, damn, I wish I had a sister or whatever. So I can like do stuff. Like I know I'd be annoyed of her or whatever, but just like, just not be bored, you know? Next question is, do you want to move back to Cali? So, um, I think for right now we aren't going to just because um, we just bought our house. We haven't really lived here for long enough. I don't want, just want to up and move. So, um, I think that we're going to stay here for a while and then maybe later on in life if YouTube does become a big part of my job and I do need to go to Cali, like LA or whatever for those reasons to have like bigger opportunities then I will. But for now that I'm still just like a little YouTuber and not really much. Um, I think we're just gonna stay here. Was it hard making friends since you moved to a new state? Um, at first it was pretty hard just because I'm super shy, I'm not outgoing. I feel like if you're an outgoing person, then it's super easy. Cause there is like a page to like meet wives and like a bunch of wives feel like I need a friend, let's hang out. And other friends are like, oh, let's hang out, whatever. Me, um, I'm shy and all that. So I don't ever like, be like, hey, let's hang out. I feel like if the opportunity comes, like, and you tell me let's hang out, like, I'll hang out. But I'll, like, be overthinking, like, should I hang out, like, blah, 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 blah. Are you close with your mom and how does she look like? Um, if I do have a picture, I'll insert it right here. I don't know if I do or not. Yeah, I, me and my mom are, um, a lot closer now that I, um, moved away. I call her for, like, any little thing in my life that happens. Like, I'm sick, what VIX do I get? Um, what shoes do I get? Blah, 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 like little things. And that's just how it is when you're far away from someone, you just wanna like talk to your parent for like random stuff. Like, is this makeup good or blah, blah, blah. Like that's what I talked to her about. Um, do you talk to any of your friends from high school? Well, the friends that I do talk to from high school, I will mention their name. I will mention their name just because they were ones. And yeah. So, um, I'm gonna say my best friend, Vanessa. You guys saw her in like a couple vlogs. When I was in Cali, um, I don't talk to her every day. These, these people I don't talk to every day, but um, I do still talk to them more than anybody else. So I talked to her. I talked to my other friend named Vanessa. I don't think she's ever been in a video. Actually, take that back. She's like my second video ever in my channel. Um, I don't even know if it's still on there. Um, and then lastly, I talked to my friend Savannah. Like I said, it's not every day, but when I was in Cali, these are the people that I hung out with and that I talked to um, like on occasions. But yeah, when I was in Cali, I hung out with those the most and only those, I didn't hang out with anybody else. Um, actually, I hung out with one other friend, her name was Alondra, but I haven't really talked to her in a long time either, but I did hang out with her just to keep up on life and like how's this and that, you know? I do miss a lot of my friends that um, I used to talk to when I was in Cali. I wanted to message like some of them, but I just felt like it was going to be weird just because we haven't talked in so, so long. But um, I only miss the ones that we didn't leave on a bad note. Like we never did each other dirty or nothing. We just kind of, I don't know, life just happened. I, I miss those. So if you know who you are, I probably miss you, you know. Next question is, what is your favorite perfume and your favorite lotion? 
I'm pretty sure you asked me this because you know I'm obsessed with perfumes and lotions. So right now, my favorite lotion is this one. This smells amazing. I am obsessed with this. Nick asked me what I want for Christmas, and you know what I want for Christmas? This damn perfume. I meant, not the perfume, the body mist of this. Oh, it's so good. Um, oh, dude, if you guys can just, if you guys like have a Sephora near you, which I'm sure you do, um, I'm sure they have this like a little tester. Smell it. And if you love like beach scents, like, you know, like, you know those like beach scents, like, I don't even know, like coconut, I guess. What is this? I don't even know if it's coconut. Is it coconut? Honestly, I can't, to be honest, I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells like if you're in Hawaii and like sunscreen and like, I don't know. It just smells so good. I'm literally obsessed with this. I'm so happy that this is like one of the gifts you can pick from your Sephora like birthday gift thing. Um, I'm gonna get that. Hopefully we go to the mall today. So this is my favorite perfume right now it smells so good it just smells like candy like literally sugary cupcakes like if you like those type of scents which not a lot of people do i suggest this it literally just smells like sugar like cupcakes and like vanilla and just all that good stuff like i just love those scents um i like weird scents i have like a beach scent and then i have like cupcakes and marshmallows over here but those are my favorite um right now i do have a lot of perfumes and i haven't got the chance to use most of them because i have so many right now in my purse i have this fresh sea salt mango one i just put it in there since i have so many perfumes um i like to keep one in my purse so when i'm out you know and i just feel like i need to put some perfume on or whatever because body mist obviously does wear off um then I will just like squirt, squirt, squirt and, you know, be good. And yeah, this one is going to be in my purse. Now, this one smells really good. This is like also a beach scent. It smells so good. I love these type of scents. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I did get a lot of questions, but I can't go through all of them because I do not want this video to be too, too long. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.